brothers and sisters of the celestial energy and wisdom. All right, guys. Um, just want to do a quick message for you guys, talking about dimensional shapes here. Okay, uh, dimensional shapes. Understand that each shape has a has an in invisible dimensional portal within it. Okay, and this is why shapes are called dimensional shapes. All right. Remember the definition of dimension is um, the magnitudes of a line uh, along a diameter. All right. So you're talking about a diameter. You're talking about a circle. So uh, without further ado, we're gonna go right into the lesson. All right? It's not gonna take long. Um, this should be easy for anyone to understand. Okay because uh, this is the importance of us building. We create uh, structures. We are multi-dimensional souls, okay? We so-called black people, we are the original people of this world. We are cosmic dust, we are nature. We are multi-dimensional beings with multi-dimensional souls, okay? The first shape we're gonna do right here is a triangle. As you can see, the triangle has three sides, all right? But if you notice right here, there's that invisible dimensional portal inside the triangle. So you have the energy from that dimensional portal hitting every line, in every corner, all right? This is important for us to understand because when we created, when we built, we built according to dimensional energies. So you have three sides, a triangle, all right? Alpha, delta, um, chi. Alpha, beta, chi, not alpha, delta, chi, but alpha, beta, chi, all right? Uh, one, two, three, you have, so this is the first uh, shape that I wanted to go with, which was the triangle. And there's a dimensional portal inside of it, all right? So you see how the energy flows through it? Now, if you create a portal using a triangle, all right, you're gonna have a, uh, even though a portal is a two-dimensional uh, 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 gateway, you have, you have a two-dimensional gateway with a three-dimensional shape, all right, which means that this energy is coming out in three different ways. All right, so that's a triangle. All right, um, next here, we're gonna go with the um, square. All right, here's your square. Your square has got four sides, as you can see. And as you look at here, inside there's an invisible Dimensional portal inside the square. And that's why it's called dimensional shapes. Inside the shape called the square. And you see the energies hidden all uh, four corners, all four sides. All right. So that's the that's your diameter inside the square. That's that diameter, the dimension. That's that's that uh, that portal. So you see the energy hidden all areas of the square. All right. So if you create a square. Uh, a dimensional gateway this is what you're going to end up with this energy hitting all four corners all right that's your square all right now we're going to go to a five-sided and this is your this is what a house looks like it's a hexagon okay as you see you got one two three four five all right so you've got five sides and that dimensional portal that dimension inside, because like I say, every shape has got a dimension in the center of it. So this dimension is hitting all five sides, all corners, all lines. That dimensional energy is hitting. All right. So this is this is a, a very important message because when we begin to build, we will begin to 
feel the energy from the structures that we build. All right, we're souls, we're multidimensional souls. So whatever we put our heart and soul into, it becomes alive. Like I said, mankind has never encouraged the original people to build. I don't care what nobody say. Mankind has never encouraged the original people to build the way we built. When they came to our land, we had multi, multi we had hundreds of thousands of multidimensional structures all over the land. So this is a hexagon. See the energy. All right, so now we're going to go to um, let's see here what we got. Oh, we're going to go to a circle. It's a circle, and the circle itself has a oh. Uh, a hidden dimension it's a shape all right has a hidden dimensional uh energy inside of it but with the circle the energy is flowing in a circular motion which means that this energy grows all right the circle is the only shape where the energy continuously grows all right that's a very powerful shape because the energy because the circle can get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger that's why this is this is why everything within the cosmos is uh, in the shape of a circle or a sphere because it's it continuously grow all right but um, it's important to understand these other uh, of, uh, shapes because these other shapes play definite roles in our uh, everyday uh, life okay so here we go right here we have a six-sided shape called a heptagon right, this is a heptagon all right a heptagon all right and it's uh in this in this size here let's see if i can put, hold this a little closer to you guys here you see six sides and you see the energy how the energy is hitting all six sides all six lines it's got six sides and six lines all right and you see the energy is hitting all six sides all six lines all right. that's your heptagon all right and these are different shapes that you can create when you're building your structures when you're creating portals creating gateways something for you to think about all right that's your heptagon now we have a seven-sided shape Call a septagon. All right, there's a seven-sided shape, as you can see there. That's your seven sides there. All right, something uh, really simple there. You can see that's your septagon. You see where the energy is hitting all seven sides, all seven lines. That's that hidden. That's that invisible portal or the invisible dimensional portal in the center of it. All right, and that's your septagon. Okay. Now, we'll move on to the next one, um, which is an octagon. All right, as you can see the octagon, you got eight lines, you got eight corners, and you see the energy, that's an invisible dimensional portal inside of it. The energy is tapped into all eight lines, eight sides, okay? That's your, um, uh, octagon okay something important for us to understand now we're going to get a little bit of complex here we're going to get a bit complex alright let's see here what we have here is a pyramid alright pyramid is a five sided uh, shape all right, it's got four triangles and one square at the bottom, as you can see. All right, that's your pyramid. And as you can see, at the very bottom of it, there is a dimensional portal at the bottom of it. And on all four sides, there are dimensional portals. This is what makes it a multi-dimensional shape, okay? Which means that all that dimensional energy that's churning all throughout this 
this pyramid, what happens? That energy goes right to the top of it and hits through the top. Because the energy begins to spiral on the inside and hits directly to the top of the pyramid and it, ex it escapes because energy escapes and it, it goes in and out. But these are, this is what, this is the, the pyramid. Now, the important part of it is the pyramid bears the number nine. All right. So what you have is you have the square, which is a 90 degree angle. All right. Which is number nine. And your triangles are 45 degrees. All right. These are 45 degree uh, angles. And also with the pyramid, the triangles are laid directly in a 45 degree angle. So they're laid at a 45 degree angle. The, the, the triangles is, uh, are on the pyramid are exactly at 45 degrees. The corners are at 45 degrees. They're laying at 45 degree angle, all four of them linked into each other. And then you have dimensional portals inside of each of these triangles and within the, at, in, into the bottom of the pyramid, all right? That's what makes it a multi-dimensional shape, all right? That's the importance of us building, all right? Now, here, we also have something that's, that represents the number nine, all right? We have the cube, all right? The cube has got how many sides on the cube? You got one, two, three, four here. You got four there. You got four there. You got four there. All right, so four times four is 16, all right? Plus you have four right there, all right? Four times five is 20, and four times, then uh, uh, you got, uh, let me see, you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 22, 23, 24. All right, which um, the Q represents the number six. Okay, this is, this is a six-sided shape. All right, but within the Q, you have how many sides? You got one, two, three, four, five, six. You got six. So within the Q, you have, um, uh, and the C is at 24 sides, two plus four is six. All right, so in the Q, in each of these sides, you have invisible dimensional portals inside the cube. This is what makes the cube so powerful. Alright, so your pyramid is a five-sided multi-dimensional shape. The cube is a six-sided multi-dimensional shape, which has got six squares connected all together. Alright, and they're all at 90 degree angles. Alright, so the, it also represents the number nine, even though it's a six-sided shape. So, uh, this is the importance of us building. So these, these numbers and these energies uh, 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 represent something very powerful. So what I did was I created something like a tower, one of the towers that we had created. That was a rectangle, all right, a heptagon, and a triangle at the top. And as you can see, the dimensional energies in all three of them. So this is the importance of us building and creating because what happens is when we build, all right, that multi-dimensional energy from our souls goes into these structures and therefore we begin to we will pull the energy from those structures and become and we will become the more powerful beings um i did a complex one right here as you can see i put a square inside of a square all right and inside of the square right here, you see you got triangles. You got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You got eight triangles. All right. You got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You got eight corners. All right. But inside of each one of these triangles within the square inside of the square, what do you have? You have dimensional portals. All right. This is the importance of us building and creating because what happens is we uh, uh, build and create dimensional portals. All right. This is a very powerful video because I'm watching the colors of this, uh, 
paper, the energy from from just just this this alone is causing is I can see a, a fluctuation in the in the energy in this video here. So this is just a quick tutorial on on the multi-dimensional shapes that we deal with on a daily basis. And if we go back into building, when we go back into building and creating, we'll find ourselves creating uh, more powerful structures, and we'll find ourselves. Uh, we find ourselves linking into the energies that uh, we uh, create, okay? So it's highly important that we understand, overstand, understand the, that we need to build and we need to create, all right? So when we build and create, this is what happens. Our souls go into these, uh, these structures that we build and the energy that we put into what we build then uh, will begin to uh, emit from the structures and we'll go into the atmosphere and this is our return all right so uh, this is the video I wanted to do with multi-dimensional shapes hope you guys enjoyed this uh, hope you guys got a lot of information from this and um, I'm about done as usual. Um, all power to the multi chakra celestial angelic beings. May chaos reign with you forever and ever. Most power to you all.